Hi Church and welcome to Audacious Devotionals. I'm Jamie McCrindle and I'm from the Chester campus. Today we're going to be looking at 2 Kings chapter 13 verses 15 to 19. So if you want to follow along, if you open up your Bible now or bring, up, bring it up on your phone, it's 2 Kings chapter 13 verses 15 to 19. And it says, Elisha said, get a bow and some arrows. And he did so. Take the bow in your hands, he said to the king of Israel. When he had taken it, Elisha put his hands on the king's hands. Open the east window, he said, and he opened it. Shoot, Elisha said, and he shot. The Lord's arrow of victory, the arrow of victory over Aram, Elisha declared. You will completely destroy the Arameans at Afek. Then he said, take the arrows, and the king took them. Elisha told him, strike the ground. He struck it three times and stopped. The man of God was angry with him and said, you should have struck the ground five or six times. Then you would have defeated Aram and completely destroyed it. But now you will defeat it only three times. So here we have the king of Israel who's gone to visit Elisha. Now Elisha asked the king to shoot some arrows. Now this is a pretty trivial act for anybody. Uh, shooting some arrows into the ground. I'm sure we've all shot some arrows at some point, whether it's when we were children or whether a bit older that we actually did um, archery, where you would focus on a target. To actually just shoot them into the ground is a pretty trivial act. Now, to add to this, this was actually the king of Israel and he was probably very used to shooting arrows and shooting them at targets more difficult than just into the ground. So it was even more trivial um, for, the, for the king, and it's not something you would normally ask a king to do. However, victory or defeat for Israel would be decided on, sh on the shooting of the arrows. And sometimes we can think tasks are so trivial that they have no bearing on our life or on God's purpose. So, for example, doing the right thing, you might find some money on the floor. No one saw it. Are you going to hand it in or are you going to keep it? It might be smiling at someone, even someone you don't like. And that could change the course of your relationship or change the way they're feeling that day. So victory or defeat can be decided on small and trivial acts. Small acts of kindness can lead to salvation and can make someone feel part of a church family. Going over to speak to someone who's, who's on their own. Someone suddenly who feels invisible to the world, um, that they don't ma it doesn't matter whether they're here or not, can suddenly feel significant. They can feel valued. They can feel part of a family. It's so important and it can all start from that small and trivial act. So let's move on to, to what the king does next. The king shoots three arrows and then he stops. And Elisha is really angry with him and says he should have shot five or six times and then he would have completely destroyed Aram. So why did the king stop at three? Well, there might have been a few reasons. Uh, the king might have, uh, might have felt stupid. After all, um, as we've already said, he was firing into the ground. It's not something you would normally do, just fire into the ground. It's pretty easy. Um, so he might have felt stupid. He might have felt it was beneath him. He was the king of Israel. Um, he might have wondered, how on earth is this going to help me and how is it going to help Israel? Um, and what's the point of me actually doing it? But whatever the reason was, he stopped too soon. And sometimes that's true of us. We can stop before the, the breakthrough and before the victory. We might feel stupid inviting someone to church, especially if they've said no so many times before. Uh, and this is a personal one of mine, um, praying with someone. Quite often we'll, we'll say to someone, let me pray for, for that. And we'll go home and, and we'll pray. But actually, um, someone who's in distress in work or maybe seeing someone homeless in, when we're doing the shopping, going up to them and say, let me pray for you right now. That's sometimes a lot more difficult and we can feel stupid doing it. Um, it we might be praying for something uh, and give up as nothing's happened. Um, it feels like it's taking too long and, and, and God's not, not, um, not doing anything, not moving. But when the king stopped, 
the blessing also stopped. That's important to note. When the king stopped shooting, the blessing also stopped. So don't give up. Keep on going, even if it seems pointless, because victory depends on it. So just to recap, two things, two important things from, from what we've learned today is start with the trivial and don't give up because it opens the door to victory. Thanks so much for listening, church, and I really look forward to you, um, to you all experiencing victory soon. Thank you. See you later.